What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB locally using Docker. Remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, let's install MongoDB locally using Docker. First, we need to pull the official image from Docker. So this is docker pull mongo. Okay, now we downloaded the latest mongo image. So if we run docker images, we should see the image listed there. Here it is. And now we can run a container using this image. So this is docker run. We are going to make this container run in the background. So this will be minus D. We can assign a name to the container, first dash name, let's say MongoDB. We are going to use the default port for Mongo, and we are going to map the local port to the remote port with that default value. So this will be 27017, and the remote port or the port of the container will be 27017. I forgot to add the port flag here. Now I need to add two environment variables that will be the root username and the root user password. And this is mongo init db root username. And let's say mongo. And another environment variable for the password. So this is mongo init db root password. And here I'm going to assign mongo as the password. And the last value here will be mongo. That is the name of this image. Let's run this. And if we run docker ps, we're going to see the container running using the mongo image. Here we can also see the local port and the mapping with the container port. Okay, now let's go to mongodb compass and let's create a new connection to this database. So here we need to enter the connection string. So here we need to enter MongoDB and we need to add the user and the password. In our case, this will be Mongo, Mongo. And we need to add at and the host that in our case is localhost and the port. We are using the default one. So this is 27017. And we also need to specify outsource, and this needs to be admin. Now I'm going to click here on connect, and we should be able to see the default databases and collections generated by Mongo. Here we have the admin database, the config database, and the local database. Another setting that is recommended to apply when we run MongoDB using Docker is mapping a local directory with a directory where Mongo stores the data. So I'm going to create a local directory here. I'm going to call it Mongo data. Now I'm going to run a Docker container with the Mongo image. And I'm going to add a new flag here. That is minus B. B is for volume, where I'm going to add the mapping of that local directory with a remote directory in Mongo, where the MongoDB instance is going to store the data. So the local directory is home mongo data and the container directory where mongo stores data is data slash db. Okay, now let's go to mongodb compass and let's create a database and a collection and we're going to see how the files are stored in our local directory. So I'm going to connect to the database and now I'm going to create a new database in our local Mongo instance. I'm going to call it testing db and the collection will be testing collection. I'm going to create the database and the collection. And now if we go to the local directory, Mongo data, and here we can see all the data files for Mongo. Okay, now let's go back and let's create a new document within this testing collection. So I'm going to click here on add data, insert document, and just let's add some really simple document here, name, this will be test, and I'm going to insert this document. And now let's stop this container, docker, yes, and 
now docker stop and i'm going to paste the container id here okay now if we list all the files within this directory we're going to see that all those files are still there so if i run the docker container again okay and now let's go back to mongodb compass i'm going to disconnect the database and i'm going to connect again and here we're going to see that we already have the database that we created in our local instance as we can see here we also have the collection and we also have the document that we added here that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.